So I'm going to show you how to set your settings on the Pico Auto Fire with, uh, for the V5. Here we go. Uh, my hands are kind of dirty, been working a lot today. We got an ohm reading of 0.49, that's super important. 37 watts to get to 470 in M1 mode. So how did we get there? To choose the mode, I go like this, one, two, three. And that lets me go through all these modes. You can see wattage, bypass, temperature, NI, temperature, TI, SS, M1. So I press the button and I stop from there. And then you're wondering how I got these watts to this. This is super important also. One, two, three, four. And you can set how much wattage. Now you don't want to give the V5 any more than 37 watts when you're using it. So always just make sure the watts are set there. And you can get there by doing the four click. One, two, three, four. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do the seconds for the auto fire. You hold the main button down and the plus button at the same time. One, two, three, and you'll see this screen. This will allow you to change the seconds from 40 seconds all uh, from zero to all the way up to 60. We'll go back. Now we're going to turn the device off. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to hold the fire button and the plus button at the same time. Now this will get me into the M1 modes and it'll get allow me to set the value for the M1 modes. So right here I got M1 and M2, M3. Now for M1, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna set it to, I like it around 210. It'll range anywhere from 180 to 215 depending on if you're getting any charring or not. So once that goes off, go ahead and, and you have it set your M1 mode. Go ahead and turn it back on one two three four five and then you're ready to go you know make sure you're in m1 mode 37 watts and you have a nice low ohm reading in the fours if it's like five point something and it's still saying intent mode you're good and that's all